Oh yeah, baby! The Spyro Dragon Fruit G Fuel Can! Let's try it! What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna be taking a look at the new Dragon Fruit G Fuel Can inspired by Spyro. To me, the powder tastes like a blend of strawberry and grape, and I really enjoy it, so I'm excited to see how this can tastes. But before we crack it open and do so, you know what time it is. G Fuel code Danny D is 20 to 30% off at gfuel.com. When you use that code, not only do you save yourself some moolah, but you also support my content and allow me to continue being a full-time content creator. So if you've used G Fuel code Danny D or you're planning to, I appreciate you. Here is a closer look at the spot Spyro Dragon Fruit G Fuel Can. You can see on the side there, it is 140 milligrams of caffeine, zero sugar, zero calories, and contains zero artificial colors. We got the nutrition facts on this side, and as far as the artwork goes, it looks like it is pretty much the artwork, a little reconfigured from the tub to the can. I did just mix up some dragon fruit powder. I've been sipping on it for like the last hour or so, but I've been trying to save it for this review. So without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Oh yeah. Love that sound, baby. Let's give them both a smell and compare. First, let's smell the powder. Definitely getting that strawberry grape blend. Now the can. Oh yeah, I would say that's pretty much the same smell, except I'm almost getting a similar smell to the Wampa Fruit can. I don't know why that popped in my brain, but for some reason, that's what it's reminding me of. The cans tend to not smell as strong as the powder, but for this flavor, I would say they're pretty close. Now time for the moment of truth. First, I'm gonna take a sip of the powder just to establish a baseline. Let me just give it a quick shake. Quick sip of dragon fruit powder going in. Oh yeah, baby. Now, the dragon fruit can. Oh wow, that's way different. Definitely gives me an aftertaste that straight up reminds me of Wampa Fruit. Wampa Fruit is an apple mango flavor. I like it a lot, it's really good. Super refreshing, super mellow. Definitely leaves me with a nice refreshing fresh fruit taste on my taste buds. It really lingers around for a lot longer than I expected. In fact, I've been talking for like 15 seconds now and I still taste it. I really enjoy cans that linger. And I will admit that when I tried the powder for the first time, I I was kind of surprised that it tasted like strawberry and grape. I think expecting that taste in the can is what really threw me off initially, but I feel like the can version tastes more like what I initially expected dragon fruit to taste like before I tasted the powder. That's confusing. So to sum it up, the energy formula powder is more like a blend of strawberry and grape, maybe 60% strawberry, 40% grape. I gave the powder a 7.3 out of 10. The can pretty much tastes to me like a more mellow version version of the Wampa Fruit can. And while I'm not gonna say it tastes like apple cider like Wampa Fruit does, it definitely has almost like a refreshing crisp apple or pear taste followed by that bit of like mango or something. It's a really hard one to describe guys. It's actually stumping me a little bit. I am not 100% positive what the flavor notes in here are because they're so blended together. But what I just described is what I'm gonna go with. When you pick this can up, I would expect a refreshing, almost tropical flavor that's slightly similar to the Wampa Fruit can. Definitely not what I was expecting. And when it comes down to choosing either the powder or the can, as strange as this can is, I think I like it more than the powder. Again, I give the powder a 7.3 out of 10. And so with all of these thoughts, I am gonna give the new Spyro Dragon Fruit G Fuel can a 7.5 out of 10. Two tenths of a point higher than the powder. But again, I do consider the scale for cans to be their own little league separate from the powder. So that score is really reflective of how I feel about all the other cans as well. I'm gonna call this one a pleasant surprise, guys. It is perfectly fine. Again, really refreshing, very tasty. And if you're somebody who likes the Wampa Fruit can like me, but you would prefer a can that's 140 milligrams of caffeine, this can is perfect for you. So there you have it. There's my thoughts on the new Spyro Dragon Fruit G Fuel can. 
again. I believe they were available on the G Fuel website at one point. I'm also seeing that people are finding them at various stores. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Have you managed to pick up this can? And if so, how do you feel about it? What would you rate it? And do you like the can or the powder more? Because I'm definitely siding with the can. Also guys, don't forget to snag yourself a Danny Dorito 23 G Fuel shaker. And if you haven't tried G Fuel before, I highly recommend picking up a Danny Dorito 23 G Fuel starter kit. You get my shaker along with seven different flavor sample packets so you can try some flavors without committing to a full tub yet. It's a good deal. Stay tuned for more G Fuel reviews very soon. And as always, stay safe, be nice to each other out there, and I will see you in the next one. Peace! Oh yeah, those are completely different flavors, dude.